So I don't know if you can see behind me, but that hill in the background is Conic Hill. And uh, tomorrow the plan is that I walk up to the top of that, uh, unless it's closed for lambing season, which it might be. But hopefully climb to the top of, of Conic Hill. And beyond that is Loch Lomond, which unfortunately because of the mist you can't see. Um, but tomorrow the real scenery begins. I mean, today's been great, but uh, the weather's picked up, as you can probably hear. The clouds are rolling in, but we'll see what tomorrow brings. So this is day two, and uh, today I'm going from Drimmon to Rowar Denon. Uh, it's a 14 mile hike today, it's an absolutely glorious morning. But I think the weather's going to stay the same. I think uh, some rain is forecast later on, but wow, what a morning. Day two is really when the scenery really starts to get nice. Um, now I should be going over Conic Hill, but I'm not sure. I've read in the uh, guidebook that it might be closed for lambing season, but I spoke to someone who said that he was went up there only two days ago, so I'm hoping that I can get up to the top of Conic Hill and get a fantastic view of Loch Lomond. Ah, oh, this is going to be good. That is just beautiful. If I'd have ordered the weather today, I'd have ordered light winds, blue sky, visibility greater than 10 kilometers, and that's exactly what I've got. What an amazing view. I can't begin to describe how it makes me feel being here. Just total joy, total peace. Now, I just came through some forest there and there's cuckoo sounding, there's woodpeckers, and, and you've got this view, it's just unbelievable. Oh, fantastic.
so I'm probably not looking uh, quite as fresh as I did this morning. Uh, that was a pretty hard 14 miles, especially the last bit, I thought it was going to be easy, but there was uh, some pretty heavy climbs there, about 300 foot climbs. But at last I've made it to the Roarden, oh, I can't even say it, the Roardenum Hotel. Oh, I'm looking forward to something to eat. So it's day three and uh, an early start. It's just 8 a.m. and you can see, well, you can see from behind me, I'm leaving the Roa Denon Hotel. And a uh, complete change in the weather today. It's uh, gray, light rains. There's rains forecast. There's actually a storm gonna hit the UK early, uh, later on today. I think Storm Hannah is gonna hit, but it's gonna hit more down in Wales. So. Uh, we should miss the worst of it up here uh, and in fact I think that happens overnight anyway um, so yeah um, last night when I got to the hotel I was absolutely exhausted and uh, my feet felt like they were on fire it turns out I had a blister on each foot so uh, keeps the pain nice and balanced so I've treated those and uh, let's hope uh, that the feet hold up today so today is uh, from Roadenen. Roan I find that difficult to say. And uh, all the way up the side of Loch Lomond to the very end of Loch Lomond. And um, to the Drovers Inn for stopping the night there.
So it's day five and uh, I'm hiking from Tindron uh, across the wilderness of Rannock Moor to Glencoe. This is the big one today, 19 miles. And uh, you might notice that I'm wearing a different coloured jacket. Um, that's because yesterday's hike, it just rained all day. And within an hour, I uh, discovered that my waterproof jacket wasn't waterproof at all. I was absolutely soaked to the skin. Uh, fortunately, um, it wasn't cold, it wasn't windy, so it wasn't a problem, but it could have been. Um, it was just very uncomfortable. So I went straight to the outdoor clothing shop and brought this new jacket. And of course, now that I've bought it, it's a lovely day <laughs> and there's no rain forecast at all, but I'm not complaining. <laughs> So what day are we on? We are on Monday. We're on Monday. Monday okay, day, day number six, day six, six. Day six, and we're going from uh, Glencoe to Kinloch Levin. And uh, I'm joined with uh, Jean and Helen, who I've been bumping into throughout the trail. And since we're, the very start. Since the start. Mm -hmm. And we're going to finish the whole thing together. So, you up for it? Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Ready Yay. to go. So we're, we're joined by Tony now. 
uh, who I first met a couple of days ago. And I must admit, I was surprised to find you again, Tony, because you're suffering really no, badly. No, more than right? me. Yeah, Tony's <laughs> got a really bad uh, ankle sprain, but he's still going. Uh, how it. you doing? I'm doing okay, doing okay. Yeah. Fe feeling the pain, but enjoying the day. Yeah. That's what it's about. Yeah, and what do you, what well do you, th done. What do you think to the whole that West Highland way? Amazing. Great experience, great scenery, yeah. great people. Yeah. Absolutely superb. Yeah. So, yeah, for a solo trekker to meet up with other people as well, it's, it's, it makes the day. Yeah, it's fabulous, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Jean, what do you think? Oh, I'm just in awe. I love my mountains. Yeah. The, uh, I, the Scotty, I, mean, I get so emotional about yeah. it, I have to stop it. Yeah, it's but part, it's part just, of your culture. Isn't I know, it? Yeah. I know. And just coming over the brow of the hill there and seeing Ben Nevis shrouded in cloud was mm. just was, yeah. was wonderful. That is a stunning view. Yeah. Yeah, Helen, how are you doing? What do you think? Yeah, today? great. I've absolutely loved it. And actually, being Scottish, it makes me feel really proud of Scotland. Yeah, you should. And be. particularly when there's all these visitors. So we've yeah. just been speaking to these guys who are from Colorado and Germany, and yeah. you know they're loving it, and it makes me feel all proud. Inside. Yeah, I mean, we, I, we've <laughs> even met people, you know, from South Korea, and yeah. just everywhere have come come here, and they've all come here with the same kindred spirit, haven't mm. they? They've all they've all come here for the love of this landscape and. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful oh, part of the world. Yeah. It's been good for our souls as well, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Being just in the scenery. I, I would rate it as one of the top ten experiences of, mm. of my life. It's mm -hmm. just been fantastic. Every, everything I hope for and more, mm -hmm. really. Yeah. And as, as they say, it's a bit of a cliche, but you do learn about yourself. Yeah. Mm. You know what your body's needs are, and yeah, well, you're, you're especially learning yeah. about yourself yeah. just a bit, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. become a bit how of a legend. Crazy I actually am. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we keep passing people and go, Oh, how are you doing, mate? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. still going, still, still going. going. I, honestly, I honestly didn't think you were going to go past no. Tindrum. I thought Neither that did was I. Lot. Did I. <laughs> uh, no, well done, you're I. tough, grizzled fireman. That's what it is. Well, yeah. <laughs> try, we try, yeah, yeah. And each day has been so different, yeah, yeah, so yeah. different, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've had like, you know, ancient woodlands and mm -hmm. fantastic, you know, vistas of mountains, locks. It's just, the, it's, it's almost like the, the whole thing was designed, wasn't it? So that each day was different. Yeah. It's like a package tour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, the, but nature, nature, natural. Has, nature Na has put together yeah, for us. Yeah, Offered exactly. different things each day, yeah. 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 Even the weather. Yeah, yeah. We've, <laughs> yes. had, we've had rain <laughs> and fortunately quite a lot of sunshine. We've been incredibly lucky. Yeah. Yeah. I know, it's been oh, fantastic.